Uh, Brent. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Josh. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, man. it. Hey, okay, appreciate it. Welcome to the Yip Channel. This is your everyday power lifter, your everyday person, Brent. Um, right now I'm sitting, uh, my wife is next to me, you can't see her. Maybe one day um, when she's ready, she'll come on the channel. But until then, she's sitting over there, she's watching some TV, and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and do a video now. Um, anyway, uh, very peculiar times we're living in, very weird. Um, unusual with the coronavirus and everything that's been else been going on but y'all didn't come to the yip channel to, to hear about a virus or illness y'all come to um to hear part two of building a bigger bench the series hmm. for those who can't hit the gym uh fortunate i'm very fortunate that i live in a location where i can still hit the gym um i hit it really early like five o'clock in the morning it's not a whole lot of people in there. Shoot, probably in the to complete gyms in our section is probably about less than ten people, and then we're all spread out. From those who are on the the, the powerlifting um, platforms to the guys over on the other end um, uh, doing the uh, the the machines. So I'm very fortunate that I'm still able to hit the gym, and I think thankful for it. But in case I don't, I can't hit the gym. I can still get a good workout in. And building a bigger bench well with a bigger bench um, you have the ability to create a bigger bench or a better bench doing many different things uh, from um, the bench press when we, when we start talking about the bench press there's a lot of muscle groups you, you have the the you have the um, delts the front the, the medial and the rear delts they're all part of your shoulder. The shoulder is essential to a big bench. Uh, you have your, um, you have what else on other groups? You have your, um, you have your um, pecs, your pec muscles. Those are important to the bench, to good quality bench press. Um, drop something. Anyway, I'll get it later. You have uh, your pecs, you have your upper back, all that, all those muscles you have your, you have your uh, triceps. All those muscle groups are essential to the back. Um, not, not even talking about leg drives, getting your legs involved, which a lot of guys don't work, don't do legs. They just, but and they're probably, and they probably don't use leg drive when they bench if they don't work out their legs. But that's neither here nor there. If you can't hit the gym. And you still want to be able to work on your bench press. I got a few little th items here. I got push-up bars. These are heavy-duty push-up bars. I got these from Dick Sporting Goods. I think I paid about 50 or 60 bucks for them. They're really heavy-duty. They're metal and they have plastic and uh, they're great. They're very heavy-duty uh, um, push-up bars. This, these push-up bars will give you what is called a closed chain um, exercise or a closed chain uh, movement because the ground, your body, you're closed, you're closed off. So you don't really take a, you're not really putting your body in, in a position to hurt something, to hurt your, your rotator cuffs, to hurt your shoulders, to dislocate or to tear something closed chain putting these on the floor put you in a position where you're not uh, you're less likely I should say hurting yourself do your research there's plenty of, of blogs and there's plenty of, of pages on here to talk about closed chain um, movements with the closed chain you see the push-up bars you can add something to the push-up bars if you have the ability and this is just my tools I, I, like I said I used to do a little crossfit you have the weight vest and the weight vest is very good it's another way of adding adding the weight to your closed chain exercise 
getting on the floor, doing push-ups, and putting the weight vest on with the bars. That should, that can really help you with your bench press. You, I, I won't say sit there and say that you're going to gain a whole lot of strength, but doing these for reps and sets, and not just pumping them out, coming down, uh, getting a good mind muscle connection, feeling the rep, feeling feeling your your uh, the uh, contraction in your pecs, the, the contraction in your triceps, different different hand placements. Bring your hands in close. Bring take your hands out wide, and full full reps. Not done that half reps. I'm talking about coming all the way down to the point where you break with a bit with a push up on the, with the bars, where you're parallel. Your chest is parallel with the bars or close to parallel. If you if you have enough uh, shoulder flexibility. And that's another thing you need to work on, shoulder flexibility. This, these movements, whether you use the weight vest and the bars, the bars, or you just use the bars, or if you don't have a weight vest, you can always put weights on your back. You can, if you have a wife or a little kid, a daughter, you can put them on your back. I would suggest if you have the ability to be able to order this, order these bars, Dick sells them. Um, I think I paid about 40, 50 bucks for them, and they were shipped to me. Um, if that's if you have the, the money to do that. If you don't, there's other ways to work on your bench press. You can take your feet, elevate your feet, uh, put them up high, and work and have somebody sit on your back or somebody pu push down on your back and put, give you some resistance where you're pushing against their resistance as you push your body up off the floor. That's another way of being able to help strengthen your bench press. So um, there's many different ways to build help your bench and also help your shoulder flexibility, help your delts uh, to be able to take um, the stress that you would put on your shoulders lifting weights because uh, you know you putting your stress on your 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 body lifting weights and your body everybody's body needs to heal so doing these these tip these type of exercises closed chain exercise closed chain movement can help you build a bigger bench and uh, wish I could give you more right now uh, probably when I next time I hit the gym I'll probably take you through different movements like from uh, shoulder press how I do it Incline bench is another one, and uh, probably give you some pointers on how to do the bench, how to, how to do the incline press in a powerlifting manner, because powerlifters uh, do not do a lot of tap and goes. We do a lot more emphasis on full contraction with the pause, and then pump. That way we have the weight stable, and that's probably a more truer bench press anyway because you're not using a lot of momentum when you're holding the weight and then you press that is a, probably a truer manner of bench if you see all of the big heavy power lifters the big strong guys that you see throughout the web all of them use somewhat of a pause or work on pause reps to build a bigger bench press well of course Louis Simmons a legend of uh, 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 Westside Barbell they do a lot of speed reps and speed and power movements and stuff like that. So there's different ways to get there. But uh, as far as a lot of Mark Bell, Super Training Gym, they do a lot of uh, pause. But there's many different ways for us with the speed and working, working the speed, just getting a lot of a lot of repetitions in to build your bench up or use pause, which you get a full contraction of uh, Super Training. And like myself, which is more, more of my, I don't do do as much speed because I'm an older guy. I'm 48, and I'm trying to stay in this thing for the long haul. I'm trying to stay strong and be able to take care of my wife and my daughter. Even in this coronavirus atmosphere that we live in right now. But uh, I know I'm probably a little rambling with this video. Uh, been a long day, been a long week, a lot of stuff going on in the world. I'm just like you all, your everyday powerlifter, your everyday person. I'm trying to make sure I got supplies for my family. Uh, we're safe. We're, we're not in any hurt, harm, or danger. 
trying to make sure that we, we have the things that we need just like you all. But I'm just trying to give you a few tips on how to still stay strong, how to build your bench press up, and working, doing these movements, close chain with the bars. When you get a chance, or if you don't have bars, finding finding some steps, elevate your feet, put your body in, put your body in a, in a decline, or your feet in an incline, but your body's in a decline position. Put more stress on your delts, uh, and work your upper chest doing that. Or the weight, the weight vest with the the push-up bars, or just the weight vest itself. Time under tension. It's all this, these are all different ways to, to get yourself the bigger bench. This is your this is your everyday power up to Brent speaking. If, if there's anything I could do better, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, we will come up with better heavy hitting videos. Uh, I will show you uh, my bench press, uh, which is really going to uh, that goal of hitting a big, big number. Maybe not at the next powerlifting meet, but before the summer's over, uh, I will be hitting some big numbers on the bench press. I can tell because my bench press is going up, up and away like Superman. All right, take care. Subscribe, like the channel. See you in the next video. Have a good evening.